Hey guys, it's Off Topic Game with a deck profile for you guys. This is on the Prism deck. Uh, this is actually my favorite Bermuda deck that came out of the the set that recently came out. Uh, we run Sapphire as our starter. This is the new Prism starter. <laughs> uh, basically, when a grade 3 or greater is placed on the Vanguard Circle, you're able to bounce one. So like, if you ride into your grade 3, you bounce one, and then if you stride over that, then you bounce another one. It's pretty good. I like it. It's just a solid card. Next, we run four Prism heals because heals are broken, G Guardians are great, and Prism in the name kind of makes a difference. I mean, it does make a difference. Four of the Prism draws because, again, it's Prisms and draws are nice. Four vanilla Prism crits because crits are great. And then the new Prism crit. Yeah, I just said that. Yeah, and then the new Prism Crit, uh, it's a really solid card. You, know, you counter boss one when it's bounced, you can reveal it from your hand, and then you s search for a Vert, Rosa. Vert, Clear, or Rosa, and then call it, and then you have the option to bounce it after you call it. Uh, it's a 4,000, honestly, if it was a 3,000, like if it had 3,000 power and it still had Prism in its name and it was a vanilla, you'd still run it, because it's, <laughs> it's Prism. Next we run four of the Prism Duo PGs, uh, because it has Prism in its name. It's important. Four Limit Break Enablers, because it sets up your Labrador play with the new Stride. Uh, some people don't run it, I like it. Then we play 3 Emerald because its ability to bounce two things and give something 5,000 power. Uh, so how this card works is when you bounce it, you can bounce two things and then you give something plus 5,000 power. It's really good with like Labrador if you know they don't have like a PG or a lot of guard. You're able to bounce this and just use your 5 counter blast by, uh, by bouncing everything and giving Labrador plus like 25,000 power. It's pretty great. Then we play 4 uh, Lady. Late, yeah, whatever. Uh, when it's bounced, you unflip and soul charge one, and you give something plus four thousand power, but you can't call it back. Uh, it's a really solid, solid card. You don't want to run too many because if you bounce it, then they're dead in your hand. Next for the grade two step, we run four of the Promise Princess Celtic. Uh, it's a really good card, really good, like, aggressive plays. Uh, when it hits, like, when it attacks, if it's on Vanguard or Regret Circle, counter blast one, bounce one, and draw a card. It's really solid, really good early game. If you call, like, two of these, your opponent, you're, like, bound to draw one card, or your opponent drops two. You need to counter blast the Prism card, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Prism. Yeah, so you have to, it's, it's, uh, archetype specific, so you have to counter blast the Prism. That's why the... Nothing. Next we run 4 Lumiere, which is the 12k attacker. Again, good aggro. Though this deck you're kind of playing for the early game. Also, it's like one of the only better things with Prism in its name. Next we run the, the Celtic, the original Celtic. Uh, when it's bounced, you give something, or you soul blast one and you give something plus 4,000. So uh, really good with like the G Guardian. Next we run two Rosa. Uh, Soul Blast one when your other. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So Soul Blast one when your other unit is returned to your hand from Rearguard Circle. If you have a Vanguard with Limit Break four, you may pay the cost. If you do, choose one of your other units, and that unit and this unit get power plus three thousand. Uh, it's just a really good card and it's searchable. So why not run two? Next, we run 4 Vert, the break ride, probably like the best, like this is the most optimal ride you can do in this game. You always want to be on Vert before you stride, uh, just because of like its potential. Uh, yeah, it's just a break ride, it's really strong. And the next, we play 4 Labrador, because of the crit, is really good, especially when you're in limit break enablers. And the new stride, which is like a next stage, and then you can go and you can like break ride this. Uh, it's just a really strong power play. 
Next for the G-Zone, we play for Labrador, a uh, really good like early stride, gets you a lot of cards and stuff. And then it's like also good power play. Next we run four of the new Vert. So Vert is like next stage in the sense where you like basically deride this and then you're able to ride something from your hand by paying its cost, which I believe is to bounce units. It's a little different, but it's not like it's not the same power as next stage because like Chrono Jet's just really good. This one has a crit though, so it's different. Yeah, it's 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 yeah. It's basically it's like the same concept where you're going from attacking with a stride straight to attacking with a grade three. So that's why it's really good. And that's why you always want to be on like the break ride vert. Then you play for Olivia, because Olivia's still one of the best like stride units in the game. Gets a crit, bounces units, it's really strong. And you get multiple attacks. Next we play to Nasha, you can, like, this is, it's good, but you can, like, kind of, if you wanted to cut this to run, like, Dismal or something, you could, but this is just better. And the next, you have to Leona, which is just, again, a really strong G-Guardian. And yeah, that's Prisms, it's really fun deck, I think it's the best, or maybe not the best, but it's, like, up there for the best, like, Bermuda deck, but I think the only thing close to it is, like, Loras. After that, everything else is kind of like, whatever. We yeah, got really strong plays. Uh, swinging with crit is really strong. You know, you can have the cheese potential if you really need to. Uh, the new crit actually like adds a whole new dynamic to the game, or like to the deck that it didn't have before. Like being able to just search cards out to like, gain you some advantage. And this goes back, so you have a crit circulating in the deck. It's really strong. And yeah, uh, let me know how you feel about the deck any changes you would make, and uh, if you have any questions or anything, leave it in the comment section below. Uh, social media is in the description if you want to check that out. Please check that out, actually. And also, uh, we were thinking about doing on this channel an AMA series, so like, if you have any questions, you can leave it on like Facebook or Twitter or the comment section, and we might be able to get to them. Uh, yeah, thank you.